night. The Brewers came up with a hand upgrade. I mean, he's out there with a kid like Cameron Robinson and what? I had an interesting talk with offensive coordinator Tom Clark. Simon Südel hat ihn am Mikrofon. His backup quarterback Chandler Harnish throws and Pam Oliver wham. Adapted quickly and got his time here on the courts. I have no idea what has happened there. What's happened, Chris? I don't know, Jim. <laughs> You were supposed to tell me when this was going to happen. You've got to be kidding. Yeah. 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 And asked him what he liked, didn't like about that first half. He thought defensively the team started slowly not picking up Portland's uh, double penetration. Of course, 50 Cent here. I gotta go talk to Danica Patrick. Good to see you. No. I like it. Am I in? You're in. Let's do it right now. Cut. There's something going on behind me. See, I told you. I did not sign a waiver to be out here at halftime right now. <laughs> Okay, look, I've never in my life tried to really go at you in your suits and stuff. Tonight, I am stressing you. You take this outfit home and you burn it. Go for two and make it and beat the Panthers and Pickland's bed in today. Indiana Pacers in the third quarter. So an easy enough question for George Carl. Is revenge a factor? But I think the one thing that's interesting about the USFL people, George, is... <laughs> In Mobile, Alabama, for Sports Center, New Palmer, ESPN. Here's on Brian Wilson. Well, this is what happened right before he came back live on TV, hit with a baseball. 